Volunteers with Toyota Motor Manufacturing Mississippi spent part of the day getting their hands dirty at a Tupelo Elementary School. As Allie Martin explains, it's a partnership between the automaker and the school district to help students get an early start on healthy lifestyles. All right, everybody do a finger, okay? And put it down, okay? That's as deep as it needs to go. There you go. It's a hands-on lesson for these second graders at Joyner Elementary as they plant beans and squash at the Discovery Garden with a little help from workers at the Blue Springs Toyota plant and Mississippi Young Professionals. We think partnerships make our community such a stronger community. This workday is organized by Growing Healthy Waves, a farm to cafeteria initiative in conjunction with Food Corps. It teaches young people the importance of eating fresh, nutrient rich foods. Produce from this garden will find its way to the cafeteria as part of healthy lunches. We want our children to be able to see that it's these very things that they are growing and participating and have a hand in that they will also see in our cafeteria. The Discovery Garden takes what students have learned in the classroom at Joyner about health, nutrition, and agriculture and shows them how to apply it in real life. We also do uh, lessons in the classroom with them as well on cooking and nutrition. So to have them uh, grow the food themselves and then have these lessons in the classroom and then tie it into the cafeteria as well, it just is setting them up for success uh, in the future, really. Students had fun planting the seeds and most of them like the vegetables. I like vegetable biscotti. It's really good. Why is it important to eat healthy? Um, because if you don't eat healthy, um, your sugar can go overloaded and that won't be so good. The Discovery Garden was initially funded through a grant from the Association for Excellence in Education. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News. And that Discovery Garden will also be part of the Joyner Neighborhood Garden Tour, which is coming up in June.